Shepherd of us all, Savior of us all, Lover of us all. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We Jesus Christ. Amen. Before we go into prayer, I want us to simply settle something. It's prayer too. It is. It was revealed that many of us have lost connection with God. Some of us, our network with God is fluctuating. Some of us, many things are happening. We are both men of God, children of God. The network so fluctuating, fluctuating and frustrating. But today, a sister, I just say, Father, please let me rest. Let me rest. Let me rest. Have mercy upon me. So we're going to be praying. I say, Father, please. We're going to pray for, for the pulpit to the pew, every one of us. Men of God, children of God, every one of us. The, the network is so low. Some of us don't even have network at all. Some of us is fluctuating and say, what is all this? Everybody that I saw, that I saw, Network between us and God is so fluctuating, frustrating. How can we fight the enemy? That is, I was supposed to say we rest so long against flesh and blood. How can we rest so this way? You must be connected with God for you to, to, to be able to rest. So. Ma, sir, many of all the connection is not there at all. Many of them, the connection is fluctuating. Many of them, many of us. I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to hear it. But we're going to pray. Lord, search my network with you. Search my connection with you. Am I still connected? Is my connection fluctuating? Have mercy upon me. Whatever I be connected with, that have disconnected me from you. Whatever I be engaged with, I'm engaged with that. Disengage me from you. Disengage me from that thing. Disconnect me from that thing. And connect it back to yourself, oh God. Let it be a full network connection. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, my God and my Lord, please, I pray you search me, O Lord, for connection with you, O Lord, Father. Then if you fall, O Lord, with me, and then connection with you, O Lord, Father. Please, O Lord, back to the Lord Jesus, connect to the Lord Jesus, fucking God. from you, Lord, I just want to God forbid after 61 days prayer, 21 days fast and prayer, fast and prayer, another uh, six, uh, 30 days next vigil, plus the Wednesday and Friday prayer, this day they say, God forbid. Many of us need to be engaged to be engaged. Many of us need to be disengaged from every unnecessary engagement to be re-engaged with God. I want to cry out to God wherever I need to be disengaged from, to be re-engaged. We were engaged before. We disengaged from God and, re- and engaged ourselves with things that have no value. Now, we're going to be praying. Wherever I be engaged in, thinking is arriving unto God and disengage me from God. Father, by fire, by force, disengage me from that thing now and re engage me to yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, my God and my Father, hey, Father, I am engaged in the name of Jesus, thinking that that engagement is right with you. That please have mercy upon me to connect me right now from that thing I have engaged myself in that is disconnecting me from you and connect me, O oh Lord, to yourself, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. But Lord, have mercy upon me to disconnect me Lord, from anything I have engage myself in the Lord. Thinking that is the right thing I am doing, oh Lord, Father, please disengage me from it, oh Lord, and reconnect me back to you. Father, let me be engaged to you alone and you alone, oh Lord Jesus. But let me not share you with anything, oh Lord Jesus. Father, please help me, oh Lord Jesus, to disengage myself from everything that is in my life, everything that is bringing weakness, destruction, oh Lord, in the world, you, Lord. Father, disengage me from those things, oh Lord, and connect me, oh Lord, fully to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, no matter how religious that thing is, oh Lord, no matter how good that thing looks, oh Lord, Father, please, oh Lord, if it does not be this way, disengage me right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, and connect me. Amen. 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 I'm going to be praying. Every bridges in my network connection with you, those bridges that are, that are on the way, the air, all those bridges that, that, that are intersecting a connection with God, I am not happy for what I saw. But I want to be happy. I am not happy, I tell you the truth. The son that come in, she said, I said, I, I, I told her that I just I just needed to, to see if I take this vision out of my eyes. Have mercy and take it away. Every bridge is along the way between you and God. 
making your connection and God not to be smooth. Father, in your mercy, begin to remove all those bridges and smoothing my connection with you again. In the name of Jesus Christ, Anything that is causing bridges, oh Lord, in it, oh Lord. Father, please set the things on fire. Take it away from me, oh Lord. Take it away from me, oh Lord. Father, let my connection with you, oh Lord, be flowing oh Lord. Let my connection with you be flowing through, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may nothing be an obstacle, may not be seen be in the Lord. Lord, with your with you, oh Lord, 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 with you, that their connection was not stable because of frustration they gave up. So we're still managing to be connected, to be doing it. But some, when they found out that the connection is not there, they were just there. I saw them vanishing away. Where is this one? This is empty. Where is that one? God. God, what is this? Look, that power of the death from the pit of hell that I vowed to disconnect me from God to frustrate me out of God. That I be sent to disconnect is people of God. I don't know about you. If the present, I don't even when you are praying and it's, it's going, you know, I don't know about you. When your connection with God is in line, you know. There's no way you'll be connected with God and you pray, it's not the answer. There's no way you'll be connected with God and you and you tell last sounds come out and you don't come out. For me, why? Every power of the darkness that descend against me and against you to disconnect us, frustrate us, and chase us away from God. May the anger of God fall upon you today. Your contract determined in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, some of us it has gone deep the disconnection has not gone deep that even in your dream now you don't you don't remember to mention Jesus again. The enemy will come and be fighting you. Can't mention you can't say you can't mention Jesus again. You can't say Holy Ghost fire again in your dream. That is the level of disconnection. Anything can happen to you in the dream now. There's no more connection to say, Jesus Christ, fire of the Holy Ghost is not there again. And it's so dangerous. That name, Jesus, have been, take, have been taken away from some of our spirit man. Our spirit man does not remember to call the name again in the dream. We try to fight it out by ourselves. We try to set set no with power of darkness. It's not supposed to be so. 
We try to use our strength in the dream now to start fighting. Instead of the power of God. Why? Because you've been disconnected. Your spirit has been disconnected from the throne of connection of God. And many Christians are going through that now. Wherever the name of Jesus Christ, the authority in Christ, the fire of the Holy Ghost are be removed from a spirit man and render it empty. That's not making me to try to fight it out by myself in a dream. Father, have mercy upon me. Let your name, Jesus Christ, be restored into my spirit man. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost be restored. Into my spirit man. Let the anointing of God be reinstalled into my spirit man to right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. is always the, sur the survivor of the strongest. The survivor of what is just the fittest. And how can you be strong now? How can I be strong when the anointing of God, the Holy Ghost fire, the power of God does not operate in you in the realm of the Spirit? Your spirit, the spirit doesn't have it anymore. That's why they can use us to wash plate. Wash it. They can just put a load on you, you just be going. No complaint, nothing. Why? Because he that would have revolted from you had been withdrawn away. He that would have said no had been removed away from a spirit man. Your spirit man, our spirit man is just not empty. And the enemy has seen it. That the power that defeated them in us is no more there. But tonight, I believe as the Lord is speaking to me, some of us as we, you are seeing, you, are, you, you understand what I'm talking about. You understand what uh, the Lord is saying right now. If not everybody, the majority of the children of God are going through this pain and torture. It's pain, it's torture. So therefore, I want to cry out to God. When the young woman was singing just now, sorry to, to, when the sister, the sister was singing just now, he said, the man cried out. People of God, that way I say, Father, heal me here. Father, do this to me. If it is settled up there, it, it will go by itself. The spirit control the physical. The cry we should cry is the one we, should, we are crying now. 
the install the installment of our spirit man with God. The anointing of God to be reinstalled into our spirit man. So you're going to cry out. If you understand what has been happening to you, drinking, eating what you are not supposed, going to places we are not supposed, doing things we are not supposed, being oppressed and depressed, we can't do anything. Ah, it's not supposed to be so. Lord, Take my spirit man back to where it's supposed to be in me with you. Where my spirit man has been in you. Then take it back to it again. I want to be hot again. I want to be vibrant again. I want to be who you created me to be in spirit man again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. even if you are connected or not if there's any revelation about what God do in your life, it will be revealed. But you are in problem. You are in trouble. Let me say it again, if you don't understand. Even if you are connected or not, anything that God wants to do for you, and you want the, the man of God or whoever to reveal, it will be revealed. But you will be in trouble. What do I mean? If it's being revealed, it is that your spirit man will collect it from the source. And if the devil see that you are not connected, he will give you the other way. That's why you will see God will say one thing, something will be happening. It's not that it, it, was, not, it, was, it, it was not true, but because the you in you. They would, have collected, they would have collected it from God. It's been disconnected. And the devil will come and give you what is not his. That's why I was praying in my heart for some people when I saw this. I said, Father, please, whatever that will make you to say one thing about us, and so the earth will start happening because of our disconnection with you. Lord, deliver us today. Have mercy upon us. There are many things the Lord has said He will do, but the devil is doing the other way around. Why? Because our connection with God is not there. And the devil, is, and whenever prophecy is coming for anyone that's not connected to, to God, they will say that, say that happy. If you are not connected with God and something concerning you is coming out, the enemy are happy. You know why they're happy? They to disgrace you, to tell you in the process of time, is this what was said concerning that is happening now? They said you will buy car, but you are in the hospital right now. They say you will do this, but see what's happening to you. That's why it is very, very dead. Whenever prophecy is coming out for you, quickly we pray, Father, connect me to yourself. Connect me to yourself. So that the devil will not do something else to me. Sometimes 
you will see some things, you, you, see, you just leave it. Why? Because you don't know the state of that person right now. So therefore, first of all, I'm going to pray. And say, Father, every power that's monitoring me, whenever you are saying something about me, to check if I'm connected with you, in order to quickly do the opposite of what you are saying. Lord, today, let them drink your rust and everything they have done to me to counter what you have ever said concerning me. I undo all right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Without a position to be doing opposite of everything God will do in my life. I think something the devil will always want to counter what God wants to do in your life. When God is talking about, I will hear you, they'll be talking about how to pour more sickness on you. When God is talking about, I will prosper you, they'll be thinking about how to make you more in penury. So every household we can power, every familiar spirit, every ancestral power, <laughs> position against me to always counter what God plans to do in my life. Today, mark your end, your, your, your end of existence. I command you to die by fire in the name of Jesus. when God say anything, he does it. Two of us. But you got to pray that the spirit man will not will not submit or agree with the other man. Amen. The Lord need the agreement from you to bring the man. The, the plan of God was to take the, the Israelites out of Egypt to the promised land. But in a process of time, the Lord did not see anyone being destroyed the way. But many, almost all of them were destroyed on the way. Why? Because their inner man submitted to the and the Bible says, and whosoever you agree to be a slave with, to, that man slave you will be, 
Have you not read it before? Is it Romans chapter 6, verse 4? Verse 36, verse 4. Whoever who so ever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. To that man or that one slave you will be. So if the Lord say anything concerning you, he needs you to bring to pass. The Lord said to the family of Eli, you shall be my uh, you, the priesthood of it shall be your, your family in all your generation forever. But it again that that word of God that he spoke concerning them was reversed. Both the children and Eli, all of them perished. And Samuel now came upon them. The Lord also blessed Samuel. And it was in the will of God, in the mind of God for Samuel and his children to continue. But in a process of time, the children of Samuel agree with the other man. Today, they are nowhere to be found. So, it's not just about the word of God. It's about my spirit man being in agreement with him. The Bible says, shall two work together. Unless what? They agree. Yes, yeah. Romans 6, verse 6. You can, can, you 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 can, Mm. His servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Hallelujah. If do not say, I am taking you to heaven, and you yield your servant, yourself, servant to obey, see where you go to. Mm -hmm. That way. So there are people in the word of God, in the Bible, that God promised, I will do this with you. And you know it, it was truncated. Instead of Moses to enter the promised land, from there, did, do everything and fly away to heaven. God said, you only saw it. Why? Because his inner man submitted to the spirit of anger. It wasn't his fault. It wasn't the fault of the of Eli. The other man came and brainwashed and disconnected them. Just as many of us were disconnected from God. First of all, disconnected them from God and connect them with Moses for the, to the spirit of anger. And you cannot be connected to that spirit and be connected to God at the same time. It's not possible. That is a problem. So therefore, I don't know, pray, Father, may our spirit man ever be in agreement with you, Lord, today. Even if I like it or not, may I and my family always be in unity, in agreement with what you say concerning us and our family. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my God, from today, O Lord, my my sister, O Lord, and my family, O Lord, be in unity and in agreement to what you have said concerning our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, may my spirit, man, O Lord, my husband, my spirit, man, O Lord, be in unity, O Lord, in agreement with what you wanted to happen in our life, O Lord. And may it agree together with what you have proposed to do in our life, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may my husband's spirit, man, my spirit, man, my children, my family, spirit, man, O Lord, may it be an agreement, O Lord, to what you have done, O Lord. What you have prepared, O Lord, is to be done in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May we be in connection, O Lord, and in agreement with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Help us, Father, O Lord, King of glory, to be in unity with you, O Lord Jesus, with what you have done in our life. With what I want us to pray this prayer. I saw something that made me to be afraid. Some of us, our wall of protection is not strong anymore. I cannot explain it. The enemy can come in now and press and press it and it will be open and it will enter. 
some of us, our doors are secure, but our windows are open. It's what I saw I'm saying now. I, don't, I can't explain it. I don't know how to explain it, but God just helped me. Our door is secure. The enemy came and found out the door they cannot pass through. And when they got to the window, the window was open. Some of us, our door is locked. But when the enemy pressed a little bit, just come in. The wall of protection is now weak. What happened? I cannot explain. Is it that our prayer life is weak? Is it that we are not forceful again as we are supposed to be? What makes the door to be strong to be locked and the window to be open? What is that thing? Only God can say it. I only saw the revelation, but only God can explain to you and I. But we're going to be praying. Lord, I am begging you. Wherever my door is locked against the enemy, and the window is open for them, Father, please have mercy. In your mercy, lock my doors and my windows against the enemy. If they, were, if they are already in, chase them away by fire and lock both our door and window against them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever the enemy are making in making jest of our world protection around us. The Bible says, and when Sam Ballard and the rest came, I said, What is this? We can just use our leg now, the word God. Have you read it before? Hey, look at the world they are building. They thought they were beautiful. It's just even the old, an old man we just come now and push it. It's gone. That's how the asset of our world possession. And I actually saw how oh God, how this how it came. So like um like a wall. But I was I was just looking. The demon was a wall because. Was stretching like net, stretching like net. Before the, the, the wall got burst like net. Open. What kind of wall is this? I want us to pray and say, Father, in your mercy, build a solid wall of protection. And, yes, sir. Around every members of this ministry. Whatever war of protection that we have by ourselves erected that cannot hold even butterfly. Father, let them crumble and build your own solid wall of protection around every one of us that the enemy can penetrate in the name of Jesus, 
Removing gun away from John God and give the rubber gun. The same shape, everything the same, but it does not do anything again. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, because, uh, those heavy hammer that uh, when you hit or something before, it is scatter. They are removed, they are put rubber hammer in our hands. It does not do anything again. The armory has been interchanged. The armory that is not there is just rubber, empty one. And the enemy know it. That's why when they throw arrow, the bulletproof is not able to sustain it again. Just enter pure. Why? Because the enemy have removed all those, the real armory from us. The real gun with bullets have been taken away. That's why even some of us, like I said, Holy Ghost fired the dream, nothing happened. How can you mention Jesus in the dream? Just be, just be coming. Jesus, 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 and they will just be coming. Have you ever witnessed it? So if you are able to shout Jesus again, why? Because the armory had been interchanged. The real weapon of war that was there had been taken away from you. I believe somebody needs restoration of it now. Lord Jesus. Every caterpillar weapons of war, I am now fighting with. I am now warring with. Father, have mercy. Remove them from me. Reinstall those powerful, those super power, supernatural armory weapons of war that I'm supposed to use to fight the powers of darkness. I'm supposed to use the war the force of darkness and I will win them. Release it back upon me, upon my family in the name of Jesus Christ. Open with a prayer. Amen. Very serious notes. We're going to be praying. I know we'll be serious. We're going to be praying. As many families in this ministry and other that husband will be tying, wife will be losing. Or wife will be tying, children will be losing. The door is secure, window is open. I'm just getting the remark. 
as many of our families, maybe at that point in time, the heart of the husband is boiling. They are both Christian, for, for example, they are both Christ's holiness. When they were about to go to bed, the wife pray, 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 and sleep, and the husband's heart is boiling, ticking nonsense. The door is locked, the window is open. So, us, the wife is praying, I pray the, the husband is smoking cigar, smoking moro. The same house. Or the husband is praying and, and calling heaven. The, whole, the wife is on phone gossiping. While the wife is saying, Jesus, I come, the husband is missing liquor with uh, kind, kind and all. Tricky. The same, the same place. So, therefore, we're going to be praying for every family on this mountain, experiencing such. The Bible says a house divided against itself. What can unity division for comes? God have mercy upon every family on this mountain, every spirit of disunity of any sort at all, of any kind at all. Making doors to be locked and the enemy come and see the window and find it open to come in. Show us mercy. Let mm. that be unity, spiritual, physical unity, godly unity in every home on this mountain. From henceforth in the name of Jesus Christ. Hope you might have prayed. Jesus <laughs> Our door to be locked and our window will be open. Do that, do not lose your own out of our home, out of our life. Out of our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God of mercy, have mercy upon our soul, upon our home. Have mercy upon every family. Let us be a unity one. Father, let there be unity one. Father, as many know that salvation grants us genuine salvation. As many know us that need sanctification grants us sanctification. As many of us that need unity, unite us, O God. Father, unite us in your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yahweh, show us mercy. Adonai, show us mercy. Abarakudu, show us Show our home mercy. Show our marriage mercy, Lord. And also be united, O God, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, that the enemy will not have any access to our home. And power children to be united with Father, please, oh God, in your mercy, unite every family, matching of solution, and every genuine children of God are there. Unite us, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every power Amen. consume in Jesus' name, Amen. What God is seeing in my life, in your life right now. Where, God, where we read today in Genesis chapter 2. It was God He said that something was wrong. And He did something about it. He saw that something was wrong somewhere. You're going to be begging God today to by yourself look what is wrong in my life, in your life, in our family. The Bible says in verse 18 of chapter 2, Genesis. Genesis 2, verse 18. The, and the Lord God said, It is not good. That the man should be alone. Who saw that it was not good? God saw. And he said, This is not good. And I will make him and help it. I will make help meet for him. What is that thing that the Lord has to do for you? The Lord saw that it was not good for a man. And what is that thing in your family that God is saying? 
or that thing that God has to come and see. Mm. So company, they will soon, they will say maybe supervisor, I say no, let the manager, the manager they call them, the uh, the manager of the company. Manager, hallelujah. The MD, the manager director, let the MD himself come and see. In some of our family, the Bible says, and God has to come down to see what was happening in Sodom and Gomorrah if it was true. Some of our family, God has to come and see. God has to come and see and see those things that need to be put in place. But you have to cry to God. And the Lord God said, it was not good. What is that thing in your family, in your life that is not good? Your health is not good. Your marriage is not good. Your home is not good. And it's only one source, only one power, only one God can, can, make, it, can make it good. So therefore, I'm going to call on God. God, please come down. You have come down. Come down and say, those things in my family that are not good. Say, Father, tonight, wherever you are, Father, this morning, Father, this moment, come down by yourself to my family. Come and investigate. Come and look around and see those things that are not palatable, that are not good, that I need repair, that I need amendment, that I need to be destroyed, that I need to be rebuilt. Father, come down and see to yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, my God, Lord Jesus, Christ, oh, Father, oh, my Father, my God, Lord Jesus, please come down to the Lord Jesus, Father. That makes it my life, Lord Jesus, that is not good, Lord Jesus, Father. That makes it my life, that is your mercy come down in your mercy and come and see for yourself, oh God, my creator, my deliverer, my maker. I do not wish for me mercy. Daddy, come down from my home. Come and see for yourself, oh God. That thing in my life, in the life of my own, for my children, that does not agree, oh God. That thing that does not agree. Glorify you, your mercy come and uproot it away. It's a mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, we come and see my children for yourself. That thing in the life of my children that does not glorify your name. I uproot it away, your mercy, the name of Jesus Christ. Father, come and move around my home, God. Come and move around my home, God. Anything dividing in my home. Everything, oh God. Every accordion in my home. Every idol in my home. Daddy, come and uproot it away. It's a mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, we show me mercy. To my my children, mercy. To my foundation, mercy. Father, come into my father's house. Go and meet your Eba. God, God, come go to Uba the future. Go to Eba Brahma, Oto Kutu, and see for yourself. Our father's house, our mother's house, that does not glorify you. Oh, bring it to me. Bring my children to my father's house. Bring it to me. In the name of Jesus, Daddy, come into my family. The Maray family, the Okaka family. You can walk family. You will bring this one. Come out for yourself. I'm not going to fight you, Yahweh. Come out and put it away, your mercy. Amen. Put it away, your mercy. It's a miracle. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says, God said, I will make him a What is that thing God needs to do? Well, let me say something. There's some things God needs to do. You have to go through pain for God to do it. And if God come and saw or see that you are already comfortable with where you are, you might not do it. Get any of us a comfortable problem? God forbid. What is that situation that the enemy has programmed into our lives that we are not used to? God forbid. The Lord will do something about it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God said it will help him. But God has to do something. In verse 21 of Genesis 2. And the Lord God 
cause a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up, closed up the flesh instead thereof. And from the rib he created the woman. What is that thing going to do? You're going to pray. Lord, whatever you need to do to me, whatever that you have to do, no matter the pain I might go through, is it that you will take away something from me and put something? Is it that you have to crumble something to repeat something? Is it that you have to strip away something to bring in something? Lord, so long is to your glory and the benefit of my family and to make us to be what you, what you created us to be. Father, I surrender. Do it, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray. Amen. <laughs> if you read for them, after God had created the woman, the Lord by Himself brought her to the man. What are those things in our homes that are, are cost things, are cost properties of the devil? That God Himself did not bring to us, but we by ourselves brought them and they are not causing problem now. Just that thing you brought to your family have caused a problem that it takes God time to come and to come and fix again now. God he said, I'm not just limiting things down to, to the marriage now. It's this with me. God brought the good thing. He created after he saw that something was not good. When God formed the good thing, he brought it to him and he formed it for. Lord, every accursed thing in my life, my family, everything that you don't that you did not bring to my family. That was not through you that they came. They came as a result of craftiness. They, result, they came as a result of the enemy who wanted to destroy us. Father, I am begging you. Set it round. Begin to pack them away. And by your own self, bring those things, that peace, that joy, that unity, that oneness, that progress, that health that come from thee. Bring them. That sickness did not come from you. That problem was not from you. That shame was not, was not from you. That bad child was, was not from you. Begin to pull away those things that did not come from you, but they have become a part of us. And begin from today, bring those things that you have just formed now to mm -hmm. our family by yourself. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, 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 my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Christ of Jesus. 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 I am the light of the tribe of Jesus. I do not like this. 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 I do not Oh, 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 God, that the peace of truth is away. Oh, God, by the power of Jesus Christ, my father, my creator, my deliverer, how do I have mercy? I deliver me, deliver my husband, my children, oh, God, Father, show me mercy. Oh, my children, my husband, mercy. This is my life, and this is from God, on the truth is away. Anything in my life. God, in the life of Robin, in my life, in the life of Fosta, and she, Mariah family, the Kaka family, the Jemuke family, the Pudu family, that is not all from your father, all from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, anything in my life, the life of my husband, my children, that is all from God Almighty, Jesus and your mercy, all through the world. I begin to release your peace, your joy, your love, your love in my home, God. Father, release your fire, your anger. Anointing your deliverance upon my home. Release your light to God. In the mighty name of Jesus, release your fire upon my home. Release your peace and joy, your comfort upon my home, upon my family. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Amen. The Bible says, and when Adam saw her, I'm not limiting things now to the to marriage. All, all, all together. When Adam saw her, Adam said. Now, this is my bone of my bone. Now, this is my real health. Now, this is how my home is supposed to be. So, you're getting me now. Mm -hmm. so, and Adam said, This is now bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. Are those things you want to see now? Adam have saw so many things. He said, no, 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 no. God, God saw the pain in him. He matched with monkeys. He said, mm -mm, monkey, mm -mm, mm -mm. He matched himself with lion. Mm -mm, he, there was no, there, there was no chemistry. Of course, it was, uh, that was uh, that He matched with trees. The chemistry is not there. But when the real one that came, the, uh, nobody told him. You don't need to talk to, to tell you are you are healthy if you are healthy. So you hearing me? You don't need anybody to tell you your marriage is sweet now. When do you, you know if your marriage is sweet? Hello? Mm. You don't need to. You should know that if you are, if there's joy in your life, your heart, you should know. Adam saw God just brought her and put her close to him. And when what God did to him was clear from his eyes, he opened, he opened, he opened, he opened his eyes. Hey, this is it. Hey, this is hey. Original health. Ah, I said it. I knew this was not me. Have you ever witnessed that one before? Has, has anything ever happened to you? Say, I knew it. Ah, I knew this was not. And I can. This is the real thing. That is what I'm talking about. Lord, begin to position things in my family. That I will see and say, yes, this is it. Is it in my health? Is it in your health? Your spiritual life? Your work with God? Your, your, your everything about you? Lord, reposition them. That when I see them, I will know this can only be the hand of God. I call our sister, sister, uh, this can only be the hand of God. Open your mouth and declare it, and it will do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen
According to the word of God, those who are not yet married, the Lord give you the husband or the wife that will obey the law of God concerning marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says, in verse 24, therefore, I do not want uh, the woman to the man. Therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave. In Jimmy, we call cleave back, gone. And shall cleave unto his wife. And they shall be what? One flesh. This is the word of God. You shall leave the father and mother. The uncle, the auntie, the problem, and everything, and come the wife and cleave to the wife. And today, many husbands have been put out of that cliff and walked away. That is not the will of God. Many husbands that want cleave, they have gone away now. It's not the word of God. No way. Thank God we have prayed that prayer before. Whatever we have agreed with, that may not disagree with the word of God, that may, that may what happen, happen. The Lord has terminated it now. So we're going to be praying and say, Father, according to your word, every husband that wants to leave their family and cleave to their wife, and now they have gone away from the wife, they are not cleave to stranger. They are not cleaved to, to, to Eve that belong to another Adam. Father, wherever they are right now, as you born to Eve to, uh, to, uh, to Adam, born to that man and bring him back home. If it's a woman that, uh, you know, European, uh, Eta get because Eta get here. No, because it's uh, over there. Those are the money they pay children. Those money they pay social have chased many wives away from home. They are not in custody. Of, they forget after 18 years. I will clear. Let me not go into the story today. Let us just focus on the prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So every man, every woman that the enemy have pulled away from home. They are not cleaving to the money again. They are not cleaving to money. They are not cleaving to prostitution. They are not cleaving to another woman, another man. Father, bond to them and be there together again in the order of Adam and Eve 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pray in this regard. In a process of time, some sisters begin to be more cleave to their friends than their husband. Some people begin to be more cleave to their mother, to their father, to their brothers, than their husband. That is against the word of God. And you thought that brother was doing you good. You thought that friend was doing you good. And in a process of time, he or she succeeded in totally pulling you away from your husband. And when the deal was done, you found out that the woman, the sister, was so tight with the husband. And now you are not there alone. But God will show mercy tonight. Mm-hmm. As many of us have put ourselves away from our husband, from our wives, and we begin to connect ourselves to where God took us away from. Took me away from my father my and my mother. If by today I'm saying I love my brothers, I love them so much, I love my brother and my wife, that is foolishness. Somebody hear me? If by today I'm saying I'm more connected to my brother, to my sister, that is foolishness. That is against the word of God. Clean! You can talk to your brothers and sisters. You can think about it. But the cleaving of you, not your pastor, not the apostle, not the preacher, not whatever is your husband. So therefore, wherever we have disconnected ourselves away from our husband, we are not connected to euro, dollar, pounds, so women, so men love money more than their spouse. Today, we repent from that evil. We cleave back to where God said we should cleave to my husband and my wife. In the name of Jesus Christ, open and pray. I tell myself, myself, I am not but we call it in the We're going to pray. Number one husband to every person here, God, right? Is Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. We will pray. Many of us have been disconnected from, the, from Him as our husband. We are not connected to pounds, 
Shilly, dollar, all those things that are totally out of it. And as I pray right now, he's jealous. Oh, I wish my daughter now, Jessica, can also pray for me to be free that myself and her to be connected also. But wherever I be disconnected from Jesus Christ, wherever I be disconnected from my eternal husband, the husband forever, the husband of eight years is, all, is temporary. At most, 120 years is gone. Am I right? At most, maybe this is a final I will say, ah, I'm supposed to make our own 180. Okay, I'm supposed to 180 years. So, it's finished. If it's more than 180, I don't, I don't know the kind of life most people will not be living now. God, wherever we have been disconnected from our eternal husband, oh, have mercy upon us, O God. Detach us from anything that came from behind, representing you now. Drive, jealously drive that in a way. I connect every family, every husband, every wife, every children on this mountain in the body of Christ back to you, our re original eternal husband, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, wherever my children have been disconnected away from God, have mercy. Wherever my marriage, my home has been disconnected away from God, have mercy. Yahweh, connect me, my home, and my children back to God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yahweh, connect my home, my marriage back to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in Jesus' name, Amen. The Bible says in verse 25, and they were both naked, a man and his wife, and we are not ashamed. This nakedness was parallel with the eyes of God. It was a good nakedness that the glory of God covered. It's only God that knows that they were naked, but they never knew. Why? Because the glory of God was covering them. Until he came, ah, hey, hey, what is this? But at this moment, they never knew. Why? Because the glory of God was upon them. That's why some family, no matter what, they can be together, to fight it out together until victory come. But it's a family because any little thing you just see back your load and go away now. Those are they were not ashamed. Now, it was not recorded according to the word of God that when they ate the forbidden fruit, Sister Susa was there, Sister Tupe and all were there, and they were not ashamed that they were not, they were not sitting there. No, it was only two of them, and yet they were ashamed. Ashamed of what? Of themselves. You see what sin can do. You see what sin can do. Before that, they were not ashamed. But when the glory of God departed, shame had come. Okay, okay. So I want us to pray. Whatever the devil programmed into our lives for us to do that will bring shame to the family. The husband will be walking on the street. Hey, that, that, I thought that is the man, you know, the man we, we, I told you about that time. This man that time, and when he comes to church, everybody but now see the life now. Hey, this is the woman, you know the woman now. I told you that that's the Haputo. 
as a result of that thing. They, they cannot talk again. They are now like Carmel and making one, 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 one because of what happened. Whatever the devil programmed into our family to be shame, to be humiliation, or make people start making mockery of us. As Adam and Eve became mockery, even I, I could see that even Moki started laughing at them. You know, Moki, you know how Moki behave. Father, have mercy. Remove that thing away from us and let your glory that cover shame, that cover sorrow, that cover pain, that cover distress be released upon our family in full. In the name of Jesus Christ, open my prayer. May Lord, open our eyes to see the boundary we have set in the family. Open our eyes to the constitution, the do's and don'ts you want to reign in my family. As a family, the husband and wife must not quarrel. If the quarrel was for a month, what will, what will go through? Only God, only God can help them. So family, so children must not, so children must not eat some things. If they don't eat it, they will be going from hospital to hospital. The God of our Lord Jesus Christ, when I say, I mean, when he was on earth now, that said God, that said he will not, it's only a uh, social thing he will eat. The God, God of a uh, uh, something in the sake of a serving. Every family has rules. Are you getting me? Every family has rules. The day you eat the forbidden fruit, you break that rule, you're in trouble. So families now they are saying every witch that wizard, every demon that came in. No, 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 no. You are the one that broke the rule. And Sabbath came in. Lord, even as you have come to deliver us today, you have reset our families. You have reunited our homes. You have reconstituted everything. Father, open our eyes to see the do's and don'ts, to know our limits, to know our lane, to know everything we ought to be doing and not to do, so that we will not by our own self destroy all you have done for us today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. Don't pray. The Bible says, "Our two of them were what? One flesh." It means Adam and Eve were supposed to always be together. I don't know what happened that day that Adam left the wife and I went away. And Satan knew Adam. Maybe this with me. I beg you. And Satan knew Adam made their parted ways. He quickly entered the center and. Turn his back on Adam and his front on Eve and rain the family down. So we are going to pray and say, Father, from today, the children, the husband, the wife, every member of the nuclear family, please use your Holy Ghost met blood of Jesus Christ to smit us together. Let there be no space, a little space for the enemy to come in. Father, bind us together with that cord that will be dragged into it, go no way. That will tie us together. Open with a prayer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Every husband, every wife, every children, the family together with that cord that even when you try to no way is already smitten by the blood of Christ. Do it for every home on this mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for exhausted. Whatever will make us hear that one of the governor aspirants was killed. Or they were just doing rally also, and there was an explosion. And a lot of people died. Father, please, we are begging you. Whenever they are planning such, Father, they remind them that they are brothers and sisters. Remind them that after election, they are still one. Remind them that by tomorrow, they can still be in the same party. Father, such mind of the devil is trying to release into the heart of any of them to finish people just because of four years. Pray. Father, take it away from them. Let there be peace and that plan be scattered today in the name of Jesus Christ. Open with a prayer. Amen. 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 Amen.
Pray for the poor people's children in a do- If the poor people's children they are used to do to- uh, talks, but the children of the governor they are in Europe, they are in Canada, they are in, they are hidden. But the children of the four people, they are the one. I want to pray, for Father, please open the eyes of your children. That they are using as thought to see that the children of governor is not there. The daughter is not there. The only thing they show the daughter, he has just done marriage. He has graduated from law school. He's back to from America. That is what they are showing to people. But they are using the children of the poor people that they manage to sponsor a school to perpetrate evil. Father, begin to open the eyes of your children to know that what they are doing is wrong. That the children of the people they want to kill themselves for, they are not there with them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Lastly, because, uh, we're going to pray for the innocent children of God that have been registered to kill during this election. It's not because they carry guns. It's not because they have done evil. But the devil has saw their, they have seen their star. And they have decided to kill them by stray bullets. They have decided to, to kill them so that they will not reign. It happened to me if not for the mercy of God. I was not a tox. I did not do anything. I only went there to cast my vote. And the only thing is that one guy just cracked his gun. And so I feel like wasting this child. This, I feel like wasting this guy now. It was not him. The death will just enter him. He knew what was going to happen. But God. It's the, the spirit of death, everything about death has covered me already. At that moment, the fear of death was already in me. And I don't know if God, Father, have mercy. There was, I did not, not if you have killed me that day, I would be here. I don't know if God, oh, Father, I'm about to die and show me mercy. No way. I was thinking about, oh, God, I don't, this guy, I, I, I could not move, nothing, because he have. So I, I don't know that they have cracked the gun already. I feel like, I don't feel like wasting this guy. Some people have been wasted that way. And in this election, they are registered in those people to be wasted. But if you and I can pray, I believe some people pray that time. 
there are those that prayed, and the Lord rescued me. So people, their mother cannot pray, but thank God you are here to pray. So as many innocent children, future governor, future senator, future apostle, the devil has seen them, and you want to push them to the election that day to waste them. Father, we resist the move of the devil. You Amen. that saved the little boy, that the man, save Amen. them also, oh God, in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, the Father, the Father, them out of that election grand God, as many that the demo have decided determined to waste, as many that the power of darkness have determined to this election all over what people in America, Father have their soul have mercy and save the soul of those innocent children all over the world as many of God innocent children of God, that the enemy of the enemy of the enemy of the enemy the mercy, Father show the mercy you are the mercy and protection of all of God for you to have Jesus Christ mercy. We can pray for people that we don't know. The Lord is mercy. Myself, we put our youth, our teenager, from those knife, those colors that is flying up and they are looking forward to waste. They will never see our children on this mountain in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Open your mouth and thank God. Father, you have done all things well. Who am I, O God? Who am I? Who me and my family. I am so grateful. Thank you. Thank you for the great deliverance. Thank you for the great deliverance that I'm taking place. My spirit is all to Creation back to my father. Thank you for your Jesus Christ. Thank you, my God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. I come from the God. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, also, God. Thank you for all you have done. In our life, in our family, in our family, what we have done. Amen. 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 Let's hide ourselves, our family, everything that I've done. We hold the hands of the Lord and seal it in His blood. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth. Amen. 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 I so called Jesus be delivered that has taken place in my marriage, in my home, in the life of God. I so keep the food of the blood of Jesus. I so keep the blood of Jesus. I so keep the Jesus. I so keep the blood of 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 Jesus. I so keep the Jesus. I so keep the blood of Jesus. I so keep the blood of Jesus. Mm. By the mercy of God, so shall it be. So hence we shall be, we shall remain from our own. May it is in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Mm. Brother, sister, are you out there? You are not born again. Glory be to God. You find yourself according to the will of God concerning your life. The praises of God, a holy God. Why don't you use the opportunity now to surrender yourself to him? Let him become the Lord of your life. And after then, please, Mr. Father, come back.
Praise the Lord that to be your Lord and Savior. For those who are born again, I believe we must have returned back then. All this we have heard, we have prayed about, I believe we have all restored back to God in the name of Jesus Christ. That was hard in this for your own sake, your so sick. Do something about yourself now and return back to God. And I promise you, it shall be well with you from henceforth in Jesus Christ. Mighty name. Amen. Those of us who love God for the day, please, like I said before, contact the man of God and God will be able to baptize you and cancel you and God will be there. Prosper you. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I worship you. Lord, you always reveal to redeem. Thank you for the revelations. Thank you for restoration. Thank you, Father, for everything you have done for every one of us today. Lord, may your name be praised forever from the beginning of this program till now. It has been new and new and new every day. There will never be a dull moment. There will never be a, a yesterday that was better than today. It has always been today better than yesterday. Lord, I say, may your name be praised forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, I beg before the 30 days elapse, everything that needs to be done, Father, please, in your mercy, do it all to your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord, I will elegate you today. I will take your mercy, your prayer for granted. Father, please have mercy upon us. Whatever error, mistakes that the enemy has seen, or you yourself have seen, and come so what against us. Please have mercy. Keep the fire of the service of the prayer, everything in the blood of Jesus Christ. And let every soul on this mountain be clean in case you come tonight, ha, so that we we'll never will not regret ever following you. Or rather, we will all we happily fly away and leave this world a subject to burning and fly away to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay, whatever will make us as Adalia and Safira unanimously join hands together to cause their own destruction. Whatever spirit that will make that will enter any home, now that we are not tied together, that will make us to unite together to sin, corporate sin. Father, I reject it from every home on this mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you. 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 Thank Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is a mountain of solution and redemption prayer ministry worldwide. AKA the Shepherd and the Bishop of Our Souls Ministry worldwide.